Okay, your documentary, OJ Made in America, is just sweeping a lot of these award shows. What does that mean to you? Well, it's, it's uh, pretty amazing to see the response to the film. And um, look, any time you make a project, uh, you hope it's significant, you hope it resonates, you hope it's relevant, and you want people to engage with it. So we premiered the film more than a year ago now at Sundance, and the fact that you know, we're standing here a year later and people are still talking about it and talking about the themes within it, is, it feels really good because Ezra made a really important uh, movie. And when you do that, you, you, you want people to feel good about it and talk about it and you want people to talk about the ideas within it. So it's, it's a pretty amazing response that we're excited about. I watch ESPN a lot and heard a lot of the anchors and radio people this week, you know, congratulating you and your team. What does it mean back at ESPN now to have an Oscar nomination? Well, it's pretty remarkable. I mean, we started out in the making documentary films um, through the 30 for 30 series six years ago. Um, and when we started that, I don't know that we imagined um, that we would work with someone like Ezra who could tell a story like this and, and it sort of has um, it's really gratifying um, not anything we necessarily set out to do but pretty pretty great that, it, that that's happened when you found out the people versus OJ Simpson would be out a few months before you did you feel like in, internally did you feel like that was gonna be a good thing or a bad thing so I mean, I, initially we, we thought that was a bad thing <laughs> right I mean uh, we were Ezra and I started talking about this project in January 2014. Um, we probably found out that that, uh, that People vs. OJ existed like 18 months into it. Um, so, you know, you, you feel like you're working on something of, of you know, uh, uh, pretty, like, long, <laughs> really diving into this story. And then you find out someone else is doing something. A at first... You, it's a little disheartening. But as we learned more about what that project was, and as I understood how powerful what Ezra had created was, then I, I think we knew what this film was. We knew it could stand on its own. Um, and then the fact that, that The People vs. OJ was so good. I mean, it's a remarkably good series, and it was so different. Um, I really believe that, that that sort of laid the groundwork for so many people to be engaged and respond to to our film. So ultimately, I think it was a great thing that that, that that existed, and I congratulate those guys on doing pretty remarkable work. Well, good luck tonight. Good luck at the Oscars. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.